Here's 10 good things about being paralyzed. Today, three years ago, I had my car accident and I was paralyzed. So today is my spinal cord injury anniversary or life day. And on this day, I like to focus on the positives and be grateful because there are a lot of struggles with having spinal cord injury, but there's some positives. So I'm going to talk about the 10 things that are positive about being in a wheelchair and having spinal cord injury. Last year for my second life day, I made a yummy cocktail and talked about what I've learned since being injured. You might be thinking, what could there possibly be good about being paralyzed? And I'm not saying it outweighs all that's involved with the injury, but I like to be grateful for the positives. Last time I baked a cake, I had to tie my hair up with the help of the wall to hold me up. Now I don't need the wall. First one for me is a big one too, it's pretty good. And that's when I get waxed, I don't feel pain. Before my injury, I would be screaming in pain, but now I could fall asleep during it. When I first got waxed, I felt nothing. But now I'm starting to feel some sort of tingling sensation when I get waxed. Which I guess is a good thing, but I'll admit I've had the thought pop into my head that I don't want to feel it again because then that means waxing will be painful. <laughs> Because I love chocolate, I'm going to add chocolate chips to the mix. <laughs> In reality, I'm pretty excited for the possibility of feeling the pain of wax again. <laughs> the second thing I'm so grateful is the amount of kindness I've experienced. There really is so much kindness in the world. It can be hard to see when you're going through a dark stage in your life, but there is so much kindness and I've experienced it. It's amazing. The third is the real reason I'm disabled. I'm in it for the parking. Although it comes with some great parking benefits, there's also not always an accessible park available. But I'm focusing on the positive and Australia are doing better to make sure there are more accessible parks available. The fourth positive is shoes. I'm never going to wear out the soles of my shoes. Who said not walking was a bad thing? <laughs> My shoes are in so much better condition and last longer than all you people who walk. Gee, why would you want to walk and wear your shoes out? I don't know. Sixth is, I learnt so much about disability that I had no knowledge of before. I seriously had no idea. The seventh positive is I get to jump the queue for different things. Take the MCG for example. When I go there for a game, I have to go in a special line that people with mobility aids or strollers can go in. I think it's because we can't easily access the other ticketing sections or we'll get in the way. But I don't mind, I'm pretty happy with the special line. We go straight to the front and get in nice and quick. The eighth thing is this wheelchair stands out. So I do get a lot of bad reactions from people and stereotypes and just people think things that I don't like but I also get some good reactions and I'm going to make the most of all those good reactions. For example, I've been offered opportunities of public speaking, writing pieces and being on TV which a lot of it has to do with me being in a wheelchair. Am I taking advantage of my chair? Yeah I am but there's so many disadvantages. Oh, make the most of the good things that I can. The ninth thing is that here in Victoria, people with a disability get a 
free public transport card. I guess it, it's to make up for not being completely accessible, but things are improving. The tenth thing that I'm grateful for is because of my spinal cord injury, I've become part of such a special community filled with the most amazing, supportive, friendly, understanding people. The community in Victoria, I have to say, is pretty special, especially with the peer support workers that come into the hospital and rehab or reach out to members in the community. Nobody actually wants to be a member of the spinal cord injury community because the requirement to be a member is quite a big life-changing thing. But once you're in, you feel so grateful that the community is there and that there are people like you, which I'm a volunteer with now. I'm a peer support worker. <laughs> it's so exciting. I want to give back to the community the way they helped me when I was first injured. So yeah, it's really important to me. Okay, so I've finished my cake now. It looks yummy. It's I'm not the best cook, so no judging me. <laughs> Definitely not a chef. <laughs> there we go. There's 10 positive things about having my spinal cord injury and being in a wheelchair. There are a lot of disadvantages, but I like to focus on the positive. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do a video of the top 10 things that annoy me since being injured and being in a wheelchair. Maybe, if you'd like to see that video, make sure you subscribe and comment below what you are grateful for in your life. It's something I think we need to do more of. Be grateful. <laughs>